everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for some slop side, I'm gonna try to fix it, don't know how. Anyway, today we are doing another makeup slash skincare review because I got my March Ipsy bag. So this is a review, we have two skincare products, we have two, we have like a concealer kind of deal and we have a mascara. Um, so the makeup's gonna be very minimal because I am going to the gym. Um, so this is my skincare like halfway through because we have an eye cream to use first. So that's what this video is going to be is a review of my entire Ipsy bag. If you like these reviews, please keep watching, like this video, and subscribe for more. And this is my review of the March 2023 Ipsy Glam Bag. So let's get started. So... This is what the packaging looks like. It has like a thing here. I've never had a bag do that. The zipper's always well on the top, so it's kind of weird. So I'm gonna explain what the theme is for this month. Um, so the theme is called Step Into Your Power. This little card that comes with that explains all the products you get. So March 2023, March is Women's History Month, if you didn't know. So this month is an all out celebration of women's empowerment. As your biggest allies on the journey to self-expression and confidence, we're giving you everything you need to embrace your unique beauty from a feel good beauty routine to a community of inspiring women cheering you on along the way. Because when women come together, we're not only powerful, we're unstoppable. So I got five products and we're gonna go into order of how I would use them. One product I did choose and that's the first item we're using today. So this is from Butanic Beauty. It's the Caffeine Eye Cream. And what it says about this is uh, energize your tired eyes with a caffeine fix that helps you wake up. This eye cream contains antioxidant dense green tea and hyaluronic acid to help brighten, hydrate, and reduce puffiness so that you look more youthful and awake. And the tip is use your ring finger to dab on this cream for the gentlest application. That's the full size. It retails for $18. Um, you get a good amount of product in here. So hyaluronic acid is very good for me as someone with dry skin. Um, quick update, I am no longer taking Accutane. Um, I finished my entire dosage. So this is what my skin looks like after seven months of Accutane. Uh, the acne is basically gone. I have like no blackheads. It, it's been wonderful, but my skin is very dry. So I'm gonna see if this eye cream works for me. So I'm gonna take it on my ring finger like it's Jess. Dubbing it on. I don't smell. There's not really a fragrance, which I like with eye creams. I'm just gonna rub it instead. Okay. Do y'all see an immediate difference? I see a little bit of a difference. My eye, my under eyes don't look as dark as they did a minute ago. So that seems to be working. Let's do the other eye. I use an eye cream every day. Currently, I am using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration eye cream, but I'm gonna try this out while I have it. It is very moisturizing. It feels very nourishing, so I like that. Okay, I think it did something. It's very, very moisturizing. It feels very, very comfortable under my eyes, so that's definitely a benefit. So I'm gonna put this in my makeup kit. Um, as like a, hey, I'll use it kind of deal. Um, so let's move on for the rest of our makeup look. We, we don't really have any pimples right now, but I do use a pimple cream to cover up some areas that might be pimples because our next item we have is a moisturizer. Now, I believe in moisturizers. I use a moisturizer every single day. My makeup routine is, I mean, skincare routine consists of okay let me go through the steps i use a facial cleanser then a toner um i use this hyaluronic acid serum discoloration correcting serum eye cream pimple cream moisturizer sometimes i use sunscreen i should use sunscreen more but the sunscreen i have i'm not a big fan of the consistency it leaves a very intense white cast. So sometimes I will mix that sunscreen with my moisturizer to try and make it consistency better. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it makes it like really, really heavy. 
Anyway, that's our pimple cream. So let's try out this moisturizer. So I'm gonna show it to y'all. I'm a little bit worried about one, this one to see how it reacts with my skin, but we're gonna find out. So this is from Grown Alchemist. It is the Age Repair Intensive Moisturizer. So what it says is, this moisturizer doesn't just talk to talk, it walks to walk. Featuring a nourishing blend of plant-based collagen, antioxidants, and hyaluronic acid, yes God, this cream helps visibly reduce the look of fine eyes, aging, dehydration, and dullness to help restore a youthful looking radiance. This is the sample size, as you can see, very small. Um, but the full size retails for $105. So we're gonna see how this feels on my skin. Has one of these, so I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers and pop this up in real quick. I think I'm just gonna place it like on my fingers and then just rub it in. See how this feels. Uh, can you get the cap back on? <laughs> okay. Ooh, it does have a fragrance. Mm, I don't like the fragrance. I don't. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a big fan of the smell. Fragrance is not my favorite. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this fragrance. I think it's the green tea. Not a big fan. Um, is it moisturizing? Yes. Does it feel hydrating? Slightly. Is it my favorite moisturizer I've ever tried? No, I have used better moisturizers. Frankly, I'm probably gonna give this to my mom, to be completely honest. Usually what I do, if there's a product I don't like, I give it to my mom, which I did with a lot of my other Ipsy bags. So I think I'm gonna give this product to my mom, just she likes stuff that has like anti-aging and all of that. So I think she'd be a fan of this. I just don't like the fragrance. The fragrance is just nasty. Um, I mean, it's fine. It did help moisturize, but not as much as I thought it would be. I thought I'd have a little bit more moisture. So I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. Um, I think I'm gonna give the eye cream like a seven out of 10. It helped a little bit. It did make my under eyes feel very moisturized, which I do like. Um, the moisturizer, I'm gonna give like a four out of 10. Not a big fan of the fragrance. It did its job, but there's better moisturizers out there. So I think I'm gonna give that probably to my mom. Now I'm gonna go back to my room. Um, I finished my skincare routine now and we're gonna finish using the makeup products that we have. Okay, so I put primer on because our next product is a BB cream. This is from Per Louise. This is the Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. It has SPF 30, moisturizing, natural looking coverage, illuminated finish for normal, dry skin, even sensitive. Now this is in shade light medium, so I don't know how this is gonna look on me, but let's read some information about this. A few drops of this BB cream help to give your skin dewy, natural looking coverage and protect it from pollution thanks to skin friendly antioxidants like brightening goji berry and moisturizing jasmine. The UV protection is just the icing on the cake. Tip, wait 30 seconds to a minute for this to dry before layering on your next product. Now this is the sample size. The full size retails for $38. So we're gonna try this today. I don't know if this is gonna be the right shade for me. I think what I want to do is just apply it directly to the skin and then blend it out. That might be what I do. So let me grab my mirror. Sorry about the lighting. And then let's just squeeze that. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> should I blend this out with a beauty blender? That's the thing. I don't know if I should blend this out with a beauty blender or like just with my hands. Let's, it doesn't say. So let's try with a beauty blender. Uh, where have I put my real technique spot? Oh, it's over there. Found it. Okay, let's see. Uh, it doesn't blend out very far. The color match is actually a lot better than I thought. Actually a lot better of a color match than I thought it would be. Although, not a big fan of the consistency. It doesn't look like it's hydrating in any way, darling. It looks like it's drying out my skin. 
Okay, let's try some other parts of my face. Let's, let's see. I've never used anything from Per Louise before, so I don't know. I know some people swear by Per Louise, but I don't know how I feel already. It's my first time trying them and product doesn't seem to be coming out of the tube. Doesn't seem to wanna be coming out. Okay, let's apply it directly to the sponge. Maybe if we, ah, <laughs> oh, it just leaked all over the sponge. Okay, it looks gray. See that? It looks gray. Okay, let's do a dab, a dab. A dab, a dab. Okay. Another dab, another dab. One second. Okay, so I've spread it kind of all over my face and now I'm just gonna try and blend it out. I mean, the color match is fine. It looks like it's not terrible. I just, it doesn't feel like it's very hydrating. I don't know. Mm. I guess you would just use this as like kind of like a tinted moisturizer maybe just like to cover up some redness but I'm just not a fan of how this looks not not my fave that mm, yeah I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the shade matches there. It matches my skin, which I am appreciative of that it got my skin color right. But I just, I'm not a big fan of the consistency. It stained my sponge like crazy. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of this. I, I'm really not. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything good. So I'm going to give this like a 2 out of 10. The other thing I'm happy with is color match, but it doesn't look like it's hydrating at all. Maybe I just didn't use enough, but I don't want to use too much. Yeah, it doesn't feel very nice. I'm, I'm not a big fan of how this feels on me. So I'm going to give this a 2. The only good thing about it is color match. It doesn't feel hydrating. It's not illuminating in any way. It actually makes my skin look really dull. I feel like this is making my skin look dull rather than illuminating. So not a big fan, but we do have a concealer and maybe that will save the day. Um, so this concealer is from Yensa Beauty. I have never heard of that brand. Um, actually, I'd only heard of two of these brands that they sent me. I've never heard of Yensa Beauty. It's a skin on skin BC concealer in light neutral. Hopefully this is my shade. It says a true multitasker. This creaseless concealer is powered by superfoods like black sesame oil, seaweed, and tea to help nourish your skin as it helps to brighten and hide dark circles, conceal blemishes and hyperpigmentation, and give your skin a flawless looking finish. This doubles as a foundation apparently and can be applied all over. Now this is just the sample size. The full size retails for $29. So apparently it says to let this sit for like 30 seconds, but I think it's been enough time. So I think what I want to do, this is what the applicator looks like. Not a big fan of the applicator. I think I'm just gonna like, <laughs> okay, squeeze it like directly under my eyes cause that's where I'm gonna put it. Okay. Okay, and then just, let's blend it under my eyes to see how it looks first. I have no idea if this is gonna be a good color match for me, but we'll find out. Okay. It's a little bit light, but not too bad. I actually prefer this. It blends out really, really easily. So I prefer this over the BB cream, to be completely honest. I really, really like this, actually. I should have just used this over the BB cream. The coverage is there. I'm gonna put a little bit over my nose to cover up this scar. Cause that BB cream did nothing. And get out of the tube. That's that's the problem with some of these products. Like they're not coming out. It's weird. Do I have to squeeze it really hard or like? Okay, if I point it downwards, 
just like some on my chin. It'd be like, yeah, that's, that's gonna be fine. Okay, we're just gonna spread this around. It smells like a concealer. It has a fragrance, but it just smells like a regular concealer. I put a lot on my chin, but we're gonna spread it out. My chin is kind of like my trouble area. I always feel like it's the first place that makeup comes off, but it's like the one place that like never looks covered enough. I really like this concealer. It's brightening. I think the shade match is pretty good. I really like this concealer, so. I'm gonna say, um, in comparison to BB cream, hey, the concealer, I'm gonna give this like kind of a seven out of 10, not a big fan of the applicator, um, but the consistency is nice. Um, it's definitely full coverage. As you can see, it covered up my under eyes like really, really well. Um, I like the consistency. I like how it feels. I'm just not a big fan of the applicator and it matches my skin tone very, very well. So Ipsy, you did good on the color match. Y'all did good on the color match. Um, I think I'm gonna go off camera, do a little bit of eyeshadow, and our last product is actually a mascara. So we're gonna see how that looks really quick. Um, so I'm gonna go do some stuff off camera and come back. Okay, so our last product that we have to review is an eyeshadow. Um, this is from Tarte. It's actually their Sugar Rush collection. Um, this is the Lash Treat Volumizing Mascara. So what it says is not only is this volumizing and curly mascara super conditioning for your lashes, thanks to hemp seed, castor oil, and avocado, the dual-sided wand features two brush lengths that help separate, define, lengthen, and curl your lashes. So let's see. That's what the wand looks like. And I'm just gonna do what I usually do with mascara, which is, you know, just whatever. Um, I curled my lashes already. Let's see. Already I can see a lot of volume. Quite a messy application. Get a lot of product. That is a lot of volume. Wow. That's really, really nice. Ah. Okay. So I actually really like this mascara. The consistency is a little bit thick for me. Um, but I like how much it volumized my lashes. I mean, look at that. That is extreme volume, very much fan. I love getting mini eyelash products. Like, la I love getting mini mascaras because I'm genuinely going to use them. Um, this is the first product I've ever tried from Tarte. Um, I've never tried any of their stuff before. Not because I don't want to, I just don't know if they're any good. I know people swear by some of their products, but I I don't know. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up the rest of my look. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush, uh, maybe like a tiny bit of highlight and just a very minimal lip. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like and we're gonna see how it looks layered on the BB cream and concealer and all of that. Okay y'all, this is the final look. Very minimal makeup today because I am going to the gym. I'm gonna see if any of this makeup is sweat proof actually, which is gonna be the main test. So I'm gonna give my rankings. The eye cream I used at the beginning, I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Was it an immediate hydration? No, I am happy that it doesn't have a fragrance because sometimes fragrances can be a little bit bad for me. Um, it was moisturizing, it was hydrating. I just, I mean, I, th I think it looks fine under makeup, it layered very well, so I'll give it a seven. The moisturizer I used, uh, I'm gonna give that a four. The fragrance was like way too strong for me. Um, just for me personally, if people like the smell of like green tea and stuff, then maybe. Um, was it the best moisturizer? No. Was it hydrating? Yes, but not as much as I would have expected for a moisturizer. Um, the BB cream from Per Louise, I'm gonna give that two. The other thing I liked about it was the color match. It was not hydrating. Uh, the coverage was very meh. I was very disappointed um, to be completely honest. It was not hydrating. I don't think it gave me any illuminating qualities. It feels like it's very dull. 
Um, however, that concealer, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10. I'm taking points off because I don't like the applicator. The color match is great. I think the consistency is really nice. It's definitely full coverage and I really, really liked it. And the mascara, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10. The only thing I don't like is how thick it is. It feels like it's very, like, like, gloopy. Um, but I do like how much it volumized my lashes in a lot of ways. Um, so this is the finished look. This is what the makeup looks like on top of things. Um, so I'm going to be going to the gym now. Um, just, I'm gonna see if this makeup is sweat proof and if it's not. Um, so yeah, definitely I will be giving the moisturizer and that BB cream to my mom. I don't know if it'll be the right shade match for her, but we'll see. We'll see if she likes it. Um, but yeah, so this was a, my March 2023 Ipsy bag review and I'm very happy that I got this Ipsy bag. I like the design of the bag actually. I think it's really cute. Um, but yeah, this is my March 2023 Ipsy Glide bag review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more reviews in the future, comment what makeup products I should review next. Should I do more full faces of brands that I haven't tried before? I really want to do a full face of Rare Beauty and House Labs, but they're very, very expensive. Um, I'd also love to do a full face of Milk makeup, um, but they're also really, really expensive. So let me know if you want to see more makeup reviews and uh, hit the notification bell for a new video as soon as this one reaches double digit views or by next week. Um, when I'm filming this, I'm actually trying to edit some videos right now. Um, it's just taking a while because there's a lot of editing to be done. But when this is out, I believe, actually I have no idea what video I made right before this because I film a lot of videos in advance, like at least a couple of weeks in advance. Um, so yeah, but, um, hit the notification bell for a new video, uh, as soon as this one reaches double digit views or by next week, uh, follow the social media links in the description below. There is Instagram, there is TikTok, there is Tumblr, there's my fandom Tumblr, my other Tumblr, and there is Twitter. Um, so you can follow all of those. You can check out my last Ipsy bag review, which was in January, and you can check out all my makeup reviews right here, and you can hit subscribe right here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.